let's look at slope in an application problem. We're going to look at the app TikTok and look at the daily active users in millions over several months in 2018 when TikTok was going through pretty rapid adoption. On the x-axis of this graph, we have January, February, March, April, May, and June of 2018. And on the y-axis, we have the daily active users in millions of the app TikTok. And just moving from left to right, the six values we have are 40, 60, 74, 100, 120, and 150. The first thing we're going to do is declare the variables for this set of data. And it's kind of awkward to count the axis in month and year. So we're going to let t be the number of months since the beginning of 2018. In other words, January 2018. In other words, January of 2018 is going to correspond to t equals 1. So we'll have t equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 for our 6 points. d is going to be the daily active users in millions of TikTok. And I'll go ahead and complete this table by putting in our y values. So t equals 1 corresponds to d equals 40. T equals 2 corresponds to D equals 60. T equals 3 corresponds to D equals 74. T equals 4 corresponds to D equals 100. T equals 5 corresponds to D equals 120. And finally, T equals 6 corresponds to D equals 150. Now we're going to calculate the slope for each successive time interval in our table of values. Now the slope we've written as the change in y over the change in x, but we've also written it as the change in the dependent variable over the change in the independent variable. In this case, the independent variable is the time, that's when we're measuring, and the dependent variable is the daily active users. So when we want to calculate the slope, we're going to do the change in d, delta d, over the change in time, or delta t. For any change in time we have here, whether it's 2 minus 1, or 3 minus 2, or 4 minus 3, the change in time is always going to be 1. So really, all we need to do is calculate the change in the d values to know what our slope is. So the change in 60 minus 40 would be 20 change from 74 down to 60 would be 14. From 100 down to 74 would be 26. From 120 to 100 would be 20. And from 150 to 120 would be 30. So our slopes for the consecutive months in the table are 20, 14, 26, 20, and 30. Now let's find an average slope for that to get an idea of the average slope for the growth of TikTok. So we add up all those values, 20 plus 14 plus 26 plus 20 plus 30. We divide by the number of values we have, which is 5. We started with 6 points, but once we take the slopes between those points, we're just going to have 5 slopes. This gives us 110 over 5, or a slope of 22. Now, let's make sure we know what units those are. So that's the change in daily active users. So this is 22 million daily active users. And then our denominator, our time component, if we go back up to where we defined it, it's the number of months since the beginning of 2018. So we're growing at a rate of 22 million DAUs per month, not per year. So do be careful about that. 